In this video, I am going to show you how to hide a row based on the cell value of that row. So basically what I'm going to be showing is filtering. So with filtering, we can pull out data that only meets certain criteria. So if you have a large data set, it makes it easier for you to analyze because you can apply filtering to your data set to basically hide rows or only display rows that meet certain criteria. So if you've never used filtering before, it is something that every spreadsheet user should know. So um, just follow along, it is really not that complicated. So what I'm going to show you um, with filtering is I have this example data set where I have the sales of different products and I have the revenue here. So this is going to be a pretty simple example, but all I'm going to do is hide the rows where the revenue cell in this column here is less than 700. So basically I'm gonna put a filter on this data to only return the row if the revenue column is greater than 700. So to do this, what you're going to do is first highlight the data range that you want to filter for, and then you come up to data, create a filter. Now after you have created a filter, these little filter buttons will appear in your top row. Uh, so to actually filter the data, you click on the filter button in the column that you want to filter by, and this will bring up all of the different options of the ways you can filter. So you can filter by color, you can filter by values, so you can choose actually which specific values to display, or the more advanced options are in filter by condition. So when you click on filter by condition here, and then you select this, these are all of the different ways that you can filter. So you can filter by certain text criteria, contains, does not contain, starts with, ends with, text is exactly. You can filter by date criteria. You have all of these number criteria that you can filter by. And then you also have an option for custom formula is. So you can see this can be very advanced and useful once you know how to use it. In this example, I'm just doing a very simple filter of values greater than 700. So I selected greater than, and then I'm gonna put 700 in this text field here and select okay. And now you can see all of the rows where this revenue column is not greater than 700 are hidden now. And I've only pulled out the data that I need. So hopefully you can see how that is useful. There's a ton of different ways you can use filtering. When you're filtering through large data sets, again, it's a very useful skill to know because it makes looking at your data much easier when you know what you want to look for. So hopefully you found this useful. As always, just let me know if you have any questions. Thank you for watching the video. If you haven't already, make sure to hit the subscribe button. If you have any questions or content suggestions, just let me know in the comments and I'll try my best to answer everyone.